Today I will make some electrode which you can use in some batteries or supercapacitors. So when I want to make some battery and the battery needs some carbon electrode, then in most cases I will use some carbon felt. And using some carbon felt to make some battery is way more easier and also faster to make. And in the end using some carbon felt is way more cleaner like if I use some carbon powder. And just for example if I want to make some battery right now with this carbon felt then I will make like so. So here I have this 3D printed housing. Into this housing I already put this negative electrode. The negative electrode I will cover with some separator. On the top of this separator I will put this carbon felt. And at this stage, right now, I need to fill, I mean, I need to wet everything with the electrolyte. And on the top, I also need to put some positive current collector. So this one is just for example. And in the end, I need to seal everything. And this will be my battery, my basic battery, uh, with using this carbon felt for the positive active material. And you can already see that this process of making the battery is way more easier and also way more clear. And I also mostly use two different types of uh, carbon felts, which one carbon felt will be the activated carbon felt, and the another will be this graphitic carbon felt. And yeah, between these two carbon felts is some slightly difference because this graffiti carbon felt have really nice conductivity, but not so good surface area. And on the other hand, this activated carbon felt have really nice surface area, but the conductivity is not so good like by this graffiti carbon felt. I can also show you what is uh, the conductivity of each uh, carbon felt. So first I will measure the conductivity of the activated carbon felt. And the conductivity is around 15 to 16 ohms. Yeah, around 15 ohms. And now the graphite carbon felt. is 0 0.7 really nice and now instead of using some carbon felts for making some electrodes I will use this activated carbon powder so the activated carbon powder is really nice because this one you can find almost everywhere, Amazon, eBay and so on. And also the price of this carbon is not so high. And these are the reasons that many people prefer making some electrodes out from this activated carbon powder. But I also need to warn you that making some electrodes using this activated carbon powder can be really messy. The first way of making some carbon electrode is really simple because only what you need to do is mixing together some activated carbon powder with some water. Or a little bit better if you mix this activated carbon powder with some electrolyte which you will later use in your battery. And then after mixing you will end up with something like this. Some active material slurry. So this slurry then you coat on your current collector. And that's it. But you can also go a little bit further with this story by adding some binder. Because binder will hold all the active material in place. Because if you use this story without binder, 
uh, and when you will press the positive and the negative electrode really tight together, then most of the slurry will squeeze out from the battery. So for this reason it's better if you add a little bit of binder to this active material slurry. So in this case you will need some active material, which in this case is some activated carbon powder, some binder which can be some acrylic binder or some PVA glue or something similar. And for the end you will also need some solvent, which in this case can be some water. And the mixing ratio will be 811 or 7 to 1, which means that you will use 8 grams of uh, active material, 1 gram of binder and 1 gram of solvent. But actually you can also add a little bit more water if you want, because in the end when you will dry the electrode, all the water will evaporate. And then when you have your mix, like I have over here, then this slurry you need to coat on some current collector. When you coat uh, the current collector with your slurry, then you need to leave that all the water will evaporate and you will end up with some dry form of active material. And in the end it's also really helpful if you can press uh, the electrode really tied together because then in this way you will get some really nice contact between the active material and the current collector. And now I will make the second way of making this carbon electrode. So again here I will also use this activated carbon powder and this activated carbon powder I will add into some porous bag which in this case you can add the activated carbon powder in some filter paper or some kitchen paper like this one. This one is made from uh, bamboo uh, fibers or simply some tea bag. But uh, for making this electrode I will use this kitchen paper. Uh, but first I need to glue these two corners together and for this I will use some super glue but you can also use some epoxy if you want Okay, I glue together this side and this side. And now inside of this bag I need to put some current collector, which in my case will be this graph form. Like so. And then this I need to fill with activated carbon powder. The glue is dry and now I get some really really nice carbon electrode 
and this caramel extract you can also bend if you want with no problem so the same way like this one you can also make with some tea bag if you want or some filter paper and also this uh, this bag will serve like separator because only what you need to do right now is to wet uh, this electrode and on the top of this side or on top of this side uh, you will add the negative electrode and you have your battery very nice so I can make some example I will wet this electrode with some electrolytes here I have some zinc sulfate electrolytes okay here I have some zinc which I will put on the top like so I will also clamp together with these clamps and now I will put this battery on my power supply after 10 minutes of charging I will disconnect the battery from my power supply and first I will see what will be the current of this battery Two point three amps. So, guys, this was the second way of making this carbon electrode out from this activated carbon powder. Uh, and yeah, so that's it for now. And like always, we see us in the next video. Bye.